this is Dan Miller for Bluegrass Unlimited Magazine, and that was Bill Cheatham on the banjo. Uh, I've been doing this series of uh, fiddle tunes for Scrug style five string banjo over the course of the last year or so. I've done a bunch of them. You can look them up on the on the YouTube channel or uh, at the lessons page of bluegrassunlimited.com. Um, that was Bill Cheatham played in G. Most people are going to play that in A if they're fiddle players or mandolin players. Just slap your capo on the second fret and you can play along with them. I just did it out of G for convenience. Um, and so it's a pretty straightforward tune that you can play on the uh, banjo and not really leave your scrug style at all. But, you know, some we've talked before about how some fiddle tunes are very linear melodically and sort of lend itself more to the melodic style than the scrug style, but there are those fiddle tunes that definitely lend themselves easily to the scrug style, and Bill Cheatham is one of them. And so let's go through slowly what I did there, and, uh, and, and later maybe we'll do another video to talk about some variations, but this is just going to be a very straightforward A, repeat the A, B, repeat the B, and finish uh, uh, rendition of this tune. And that meaning that I played the A part and then the, and then the same A part and the B part and the same B part. You, later we can get into some variations. But um, this tune starts out really easily. You're going to you're going to hit the uh, low D string and then with your index and middle play uh, a double stop on your highest two strings, uh, the D and the B string at the same time. You're just going to throw in a standard Scruggs lick. I think I did. And that's just a slide from two to three or two to four. And then a forward roll. And then a pull off from three to two. Like that. So I go. Thing. I could go and then wait and do that lick or throw that little uh, high G uh, string and then a high D and then throw the lick in. Okay? The next is you're going to go to a C chord, you just hold down your C position and you're going to play the same thing but with the C chord held down as far as that first part where you're going to hit the D, low D string but again you're holding your C position so you're playing an E. And then you get two double stops on again those uh, the B and the D strings but you're holding down your C and your E notes. So, And then you could do that sort of a timing thing where you play the high uh, G string and the high D string holding your C chord. And then I just do a C lick. And that's just a forward backward roll over the C chord. And again, in these places you could really put any kind of G lick or C lick after, after this. You insert any of your favorite G licks that fit. And after this, you can fit any of your favorite C licks that fit. It's the the the, the important part is that lick lick that kind of defines the tune. Um, so I go. Same. I repeat the same thing the G that I did. And then from there, after that second time I do, then I'm going to um, just play this, this again, a standard lick, and you can throw in any standard Scruggs lick in G. I, I'm going to go. I'm going to go. So I'm sliding from two to three, and then I'm putting my... Uh, index finger on the E note here, doing a forward roll, letting go and doing a backward roll, pull off 3-2, so, and 
and then you repeat that whole thing. And then you go into the B part. So I repeated this pretty much the exact same thing on the two A parts. And again, later we can get into variations that you could throw in there, but again, the important part is to, of Bill Cheatham is to get this. Play G lick, play C lick, play G lick, and then uh, you know, whatever, whatever ending phrase that you want to throw in there uh, over the resolving phrase of the song. So pretty straightforward on the A part. All right, now the B part is going to start with this um, harmonic scale. We talked about harmonic scales on the banjo in, a, in a, another video and showed some examples of where they could be played. The harmonic scale... Okay. That's what we're going to play, just that piece of it. this lick so it's going to be uh, middle on the D string index on the B and then middle on the D and then the high G and then I put my fingers down here like you're playing a C chord do the same roll and then I come up here like I'm playing a D chord So I'm going to go up, start the same way, that's it. And again, at the end you can throw any kind of G lick as that resolving phrase. So again, the first phrase. Start the same. Backward roll. Hit that note pinch, okay? And then repeat. First phrase. And then the resolving phrase, I'm going to play. So as long as, long as you can get that. Then you can play any kind of lick here. I'm just going. Is, is part of the melody there, and then repeat it, and then end with the resolving phrase, and again, I'm choosing to just go. There's lots of different ways. Just throw one of your favorite Scruggs resolving phrases uh, in there, kind of a five chord to a, a one chord resolving phrase that uh, is your favorite, and that will do the whole team thing. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, Bill Cheatham is not that hard to play and if you can get up to speed and play it with your, your friends that play fiddle and guitar and mandolin you'll have a lot of fun. So there's Bill Cheatham. Uh, maybe later I'll uh, do another video and show you some other licks that you can put in those spaces where we talked about insert a C lick, insert a G lick, you know, insert a resolving phrase lick. We'll talk about some others that you might be able to fit in there that make it sound cool, give it some variation. All right, this is Dan Miller for Bluegrass Unlimited Magazine. Enjoy playing Bill Cheatham on your banjo. Thanks.